Okay, before I get started here, it does say spoilers. Um, I want to say that this is this is one of the most boring movies I have ever seen. And it just sucks on top of it. Half of the movie is about his sex life. It has nothing to do with anything. It doesn't move the plot forward. It doesn't... It's just a waste of time. And then the second half is Robert Downey Jr. playing this Adam Schiff type guy that's trying to harass him and frame him as a communist and his brother is or isn't a communist i, I don't know there, it was just this movie just sucked man so uh the first half of the movie the only saving grace here let me and why she isn't up in these credits up here i don't know is uh, this gal from the Black Widows movies. So she plays this Russian chick that's supposedly a communist. And you get to see her rack in this. She's got B cups, natural low hangers. It, it wasn't very impressive, to be honest. Uh, but it was better than nothing because everything else in this movie sucked ass, man. Just absolutely sucked. Besides that, the only cool thing is is when they test the nuke. You don't even get to see them bombing Hiroshima or Nagasaki. You don't see any of that. It's all about the fucking guy's sex life and Robert Downey Jr. trying to frame him as a communist. There's a lot of uh, stars in this, too. Yeah, here's Matt Damon. I mean, there's a lot of people that you're going to recognize in this, but besides this scene here where they test the nuke, man, everything else is just... This whole thing with Robert Downey Jr. here was such a... I don't care about this crap with he's a communist and all this. Show me the fucking bombing of Hiroshima, you idiots. I can't believe they didn't show us that. Oh. And then we get to this. Okay, normally this chick is smoking hot in, in any movie. And she's normally pretty good. But my God, she sucks ass in this. All she does is suck oxygen out of the fucking film in this. The whole movie, she's just complaining and bitching and moaning. And she doesn't want this kid and blah, blah. And it's just... Why they had this in there, I don't know. I don't give a fuck about this guy's sex life. It was just so... It didn't move the, the plot forward or anything. Like I said, this is the only cool scene when they test the nuke. Everything else in this movie is just stupid and boring and a waste of time. This whole thing here was so stupid. They they waste half, the second half of the movie they waste with this crap. And it's all about Robert Downey Jr. is this Adam Schiff guy and he's, he's framing the Oppenheimer guy and He's a communist, and they go through this whole thing, and, and the whole thing is a waste of time because Oppenheimer wins in the end anyways. And it's just stupid. You, and, and you don't even, like I said, you don't see Hiroshima and Nagasaki get bombed. It just sucks. Just absolutely sucks, man. Garbage. Garbage fucking movie, man. Yeah, there's uh, Einstein on there. He keeps talking to Einstein on there. Look at this. 
I just can't. I mean, th this gal is normally pretty good in most movies, but God, I've never seen her suck the oxygen out of a film like this movie, man. And yeah, this is this is the second half. Well, well, you're a communist. You're a communist. Oh, the blah blah blah. You're a communist. Gives a fuck. God awful. Boring piece of shit. How do you make a movie about a, about creating a nuke this fucking boring? I don't understand. And then now there's Josh Hartnett. He's in this. And they waste all this time and money on Robert Downey. Now, this guy's in it from Mr. Robot. Yeah, Matt, Matt Damon is... He's okay in there, I guess. He's just this, like, hard-ass general guy, and he takes all the credit, and it's just... I don't know, man. I just, I won't watch this ever again. This sucked ass. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.